Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off in Planet Threepwood again, trying to still put together the pieces of the ultimate insult. Um, but we're actually going to backtrack a little bit because um, I'm going to try and do something else first. Um, and I'll go into more detail on that in a second, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Right. Where do the real pirates go when they're looking for buccaneer-style family dining at a reasonable price? Why? I'm going to move Planet away from him for a second so I can go into Come it. Um, so, this comes from Andy Dead, who has um, been tuning into the episodes and has uh, been commenting and, you know... Uh, dropping some interesting stuff in actually. He was telling me that there's a, a bit of an easter egg that you can do with Murray. Um, so I thought we'd go back and do that. I've never done this before, um, but he's given a little bit of a list of instructions. So we're going to check this out. I don't know whether it's available on this version of the game. Um, this is the Steam version. I don't know if it's different to the original version that was on the discs back in the day, but we're going to try and do it. And apparently it involves trying to pick Murray up a couple of times. Taste culinary delights. Approved by genuine... <laughs> Not this time, silly mortal. I'm nailed to the seat of this stool, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Maybe not, but this stool looks like it spins. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't think that's it. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, okay. So that's your game, huh? Spin the helpless talking skull, huh? How <laughs> juvenile. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, Threepwood, you've had your fun. Now stop spinning me. Right, okay. Stop spinning me, accursed mortal. <laughs> I said stop it. Apparently you have to, like, exhaust these options. If you don't stop spinning me, I'll put an evil curse on you. Yeah, I'm not scared of you. Okay, here I go. I'm putting a curse on you. <laughs> that's it, you're cursed. You are going to have such a rash. <laughs> I am not going to talk to you while you're doing this. Okay, but you still are. Don't touch me, foolish mortal. I said, don't touch me. Okay. I am not going to talk to you while you're doing this. So I think it says until he starts repeating himself. Okay, so Threepwood, you've had your fun. Now stop spinning me. I think this is when I he's said, stop it. repeating himself. So apparently then we have to turn away from him. And then type Murray Oh, hey, mateys. Set sail for family fun at Planet Threepwood. Mwah. Whoa. It is actually a thing. Look. No way. <laughs> I had no idea this existed. It's like the old um, Pong game, but with Murray's head and some bananas. Talk to the hand, mortal. <laughs> Do you actually win? Mwah. Yeah, you can, look. I don't know how many points you have to get to. Let's play this for a little bit. I don't know how... How long is this going to go on? Oh, this is really cool. Oh, damn. He's um, got a bit of a tricky shot in there. Nope. Okay. We'll get the old bouncy thing going. That's it. That should be our point. No, I can't believe he's got that. Wow, this is a really cool Easter egg. I had no idea this existed. I mean, I had the PS2 version as a kid, so that's probably why, because obviously I'm guessing this was only in the PC version. Wow, that's a really slow shot. Oh. I don't know if the, you can win the game or something. I said, don't touch me! <laughs> He's still getting annoyed. Ooh, okay. It seems like it's quite hard to get this third point for some reason. Okay, we've got... Th can we just quit, or...? Apparently not. Um, I don't know if we have to actually win this. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe we do. Maybe we've got to get to a certain score. I don't know what the number at the top don't means. Touch me, foolish mortal. Oh, is that how many... things we've got him to say? Talk to the hand, mortal. Oh, it doesn't look like it. I have no idea. Don't touch me, foolish mortal. But it's now up to four at the top, so I, I have no idea what that means. This is really fun. <laughs> something to do with when the monkey makes the monkey noises. Isn't That's it? it. You're cursed. You are gonna have such a rash. Um, how the hell do we quit out of this? <laughs> oh, I see that. It's a speed thing. 
What's like the ma oh my god. What's the maximum speed we can go to on this thing? Whoa. Okay. Wow, okay. That's it, you're cursed. You're No. How how high can we set speed on this bad boy? Let's just um Wow, can it go to like a hundred or ninety-nine? We can go to ninety-nine. Whoa. <laughs> wow, okay. That's it, you're what? Oh, it is. It's the first to ten. That was really cool. See souvenirs of Guybrush Threepwood. I had no idea that you could do that. Taste culinary delights approved by genuine pirates. Hear beautiful pirate folk music. Feel your souls. Being well, there we go. We learned something new today. We played Murray Ball. Of uncompromising. That's a really cool little Easter egg. Thank you, Andy Dead, for sending that in because. <laughs> I'm really happy that I've played that now. That's something I've never done on this game despite all the times that I've played it, so I'm super, super pleased that What's I got that? to do that. Oh, it's the diving competition, that's right. Oh, that's some pro diving right there. Tens across the board. <laughs> Look at the way he walks. Whoa, nice dive. Thank you, my friend. I fear that my skills have atrophied as of late, though. I'm not half the diver I used to be. That was one of the best plank dives I've ever seen. And who are you that would take such pains to flatter an aging plank diver? Uh, my name is Guybrush Threepwood. I'm a mighty pirate. I'm Guybrush Threepwood Plank Diver. I'm Guybrush Threepwood Plank Diver. Welcome to Jambalaya Island, Mr. Threepwood. I am Marco De Pollo, <laughs> undefeated and undisputed plank diving champion of the world! Undisputed, eh? Are you really the greatest diver in the world? Are you really the greatest diver in the world? Yes. I have spent years searching the planet for someone who could better me in the art of the plank dive, but to no Look no further, buddy. Oh, Look no further. What are you doing on Jambalaya Island? What are you doing on Jambalaya Island? Ah, that is an interesting story. Is it a short story? <laughs> About a year ago, I despaired of ever finding my diving equal. I was prepared to hang up my trunks forever. Mm. At this crucial moment, Senior Ozzy Mandrill approached me with an intriguing proposition. Am I old enough to hear this? <laughs> he told me that he was building the tallest artificial plank diving platform in the world. Ah. And that he was willing to pay obscene amounts of money to have the world's greatest plank diver compete on it on a daily basis. Since I was ready to retire in any event, I figured why not retire in the comfort of a luxury resort island? Yeah. Makes sense to me. Besides, there's always the chance that someone will come along who can finally challenge my skills. I can do it. Has your arrangement with Ozymandrill proven challenging? Has your arrangement with Ozymandrill proven challenging? Sadly, no. But at least I'm receiving a steady stream of income. Well, that's good, I guess. Um, I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. What would I know of such things? One of the pieces is a bronze hat. One of the pieces is a bronze hat. I never wear hats. They might screw up the shape of my naturally streamlined <laughs> head. <laughs> okay, one of the pieces is a silver monkey head. One of the pieces is a silver monkey head. I'm sorry, but that doesn't ring a bell. This one might though. It's a golden man of some sort. One of the pieces is a golden man of some sort. Mm. How peculiar. A solid gold all-world diving trophy looks like a golden man of some sort. It's over by the judges' table. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Uh, perhaps you're not the best person to ask. Perhaps you're not the best person to ask about the ultimate insult. Perhaps not. Uh, how did you get into plank diving anyway? How did you get into plank diving anyway? Ah, that is a story rife with melancholy. Are you sure you wish to hear it? If it's short, yeah. Are you kidding? I love stories rife with melancholy. Are you kidding? I love stories rife with melancholy. Very well. It begins with my father. Count Francisco Alvarez de Pollo. <laughs> he was a man of peculiar moods and eccentricities. In one of his so-called lighter moments, he named his only son Marco, much to the <laughs> consternation of his wife and extended family. Why the fuss? I take it you have never been in a public school. <laughs> Pirates don't have much use for him. Ah, then allow me to elaborate. At the tender age of six, I was sent to my first swimming lesson. 
Oh, how I happily splashed about, taking to the water like I worn to dirt. Mm. Suddenly, someone shouted my name. It's an analogy Arco! and a half there. I turned to see who it was. Before I could find who had called my name, everyone in the pool shouted in response, Poyo! I couldn't understand what was happening. Why were they shouting my name in such an annoying scene, song, manner? Why were they closing their eyes to my obvious torment? I tried to get them to stop, but they just kept chanting my name over and over again. Marco Puyo! Unable to tolerate it any further, I climbed to the highest diving board in the pool and cannonballed into the center of the taunting masses. As I hit the water with a resounding splash, the haunting chants of my classmates finally gave way to comforting screams of Terror! What a horrible okay. story. Okay. Yes. But at least I gained a lucrative career out of my childhood trauma. That's one way of looking at it, I guess. Do you still dive to drown out the voices of the taunting children? Do you still dive to drown out the voices of the taunting children? Oh no. Now I'm in it for the thrill of victory and the lure of a fat paycheck. Makes the fact sense. that it provides a temporary bomb to my permanent psychological damage is purely a side benefit. That's good. I need to think there was something weird going on here. <laughs> So is this diving competition open to anyone? So is this diving competition open to anyone? Hardly. If I were to compete against everyone who wanted to get their hands on a solid gold old world diving trophy, I'd be diving 24 hours a day. Mm. Oh, so who do you dive against? The judges panel over there does an excellent job of weeding out the poseurs from the serious divers. So, as I'm sure you can guess, we're going to be diving against this guy. And he's just given us one of the secrets to beating him. So, I'd like to dive against you. I'd like to dive against you. You want to dive against me? Yeah. <laughs> ah, thank you, little friend, for bringing laughter back into my life. What's so funny? Don't tell me you're serious. As serious as scurvy, diver boy. It's not wise to trifle with me, Mr. Thripwood. I am the greatest diver in the world. Second greatest, Jimmy. <laughs> Very well. The gauntlet has been thrown. I suppose you have been certified by the judging committee? Uh, certified? Do you think I am some sort of clown who accepts the challenges of every two-shilling braggart that comes my way? Um, yes? <laughs> if you want to die, go to the judges committee and get certified. Okay. I'm gonna go and get certified then. I just remembered a previous engagement. Bye. Alright, so... Ooh, we need that. Don't touch that oil, it's very expensive. Oh, I've just remembered what we do with that. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, we'll be using that at some point. But first, let's go to the judges and get certified to take this guy on. Look, there's the statue. That's what we need. It's a golden trophy of a man in a classic arms overhead diving pose. Okay, let's talk to the judges. I love the music hey, excuse here. Excuse me. Hey, hey, little dude. What's up? Uh, what's going on around here? What's going on around here? We are the judges for Jambaraya's All World Diving Contest. <laughs> Actually, it's more like a free-for-all than a contest. Dude, quit projecting your negative vibes, man. Yeah, man. Okay, um, I'd like to take a track at winning that diving trophy. I'd like to take a crack at winning that diving trophy. You and dozens of other gold-hunting wannabes. If you wish to dive, you must be certified first. Okay. Why? We could leave ourselves open to most grievous lawsuits if we let physically uncool people try to dive. Of course. Now, just step behind the table. There won't be any word problems, will there? <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing with that? Please turn to the right, dude. You're not going to put that there, are you? <laughs> now then, let me know when this begins to hurt. Ouch! What is going on? Several minutes later. And another thing, I think the staple gun was completely <laughs> uncalled for. Staple gun. Be that as it may, you have passed the physical. Really? Don't act so shocked. You'd have to be a palsy-ridden grandmother to fail. No. Here's your certificate. Feel free to challenge our champion diver whenever yes. you want to dive. Okay, so let's put that away. Can we talk to them individually? I can't remember. I think we can. Excuse me. Oh, what is a little diver, dude? Um. Okay. See you later. You gotta do. We have to dive first. I have. You're right. 
So there's a grouchy judge. Uh, that judge. So, to remember what I've got to do, I think we've got to dive first, and you can't beat him unless you do a series of things. Um, so I see. I'll figure it out. What can I do for you, Mr. Ripwood? Um, I'm, certi I'm certified now. I'm ready to dive against you now. So, you've managed to get yourself certified. Yep. Sure, check it out. Ah, I've seen palsy-ridden grandmothers with better qualifying scores. But I'm eager to put you in your place. Prepare to be humiliated, Mr. Thripwood. Marco say so. Poyo is about to attempt a rum barrel, keel haul, rum barrel combination. Let's give him complete silence for this time. Here he goes. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Solid tens. How are we going to beat that? He's got it upside down. The prank is yours, Thripwood. Okay. Let's go and get changed into our diving gear. <laughs> like I can hear him undoing his belt. <laughs> oh, look at that. What great swimwear. Here we go. Long trek up to the top. <laughs> it actually makes you watch the entire trek to the top as well. <laughs> oh. This is a long way to go, isn't it? Here we go. The seagulls up here. They look really hungry. No wonder. I don't think there's any fish up here. It's not, but we can get those seagulls to help us out later on. Um, oh, look at that. We're actually pretty good. Darn. Seven. No. That bad, was I? Four. Rats. The winner and the still all world prank diving champion is Marco De Pollo. <laughs> Right, and then I think we have to talk to the judges and ask why they didn't give us a good score. Excuse me. Whoa, what is a little diver, dude? What was wrong with my last dive? What was wrong with my last dive? Eh, uh, you really didn't get into the flow of Depoyo's groove, man. Say what? Hey, you gotta match Depoyo's moves if you want to be the dude. But how? Well, basically, there are four types of moves allowed in plank diving, man. Well, first you got the keel haul, you know, a mellow, swarm-like move that you can do by lifting your nose up in the air. So I'm going to make Next a note of this. Next is the rum barrel, man. The somersault move that's easy to do by shoving your chin down into your chest. Rum barrel, down. Check. The third move is the spinning swordsman, man. That's a dangerous vertical spin that should only be started to the right. Spinning swordsman, right. Okay. Finally, there's the alpha monkey, a chest pounding maneuver that always starts with the left hand. Alpha monkey left. Good. Okay, bro. Pay attention to the moves that DePoyo makes, you know, and try and match them. For example, on his last dive, he did a rum barrel, keel haul, rum barrel combination. So, if you wanted to match him, you'd lean down, up, down. Right, so there we go. That's what we've got to do. So, See you later. I've made a you note of that. It, so, to get a 10 off that guy, we've basically just got to copy whatever Marco does. Um, let's talk to the wise old judge now. Pardon me. Yes, Grasshopper. What was wrong with my last dive? What was wrong with my last dive? The perfect dive should leave no trace of the diver upon the water. As you seek perfection in your dives, seek perfection in your splashes. Okay. Are you saying that my splashes are too big? Yes. You might try making your form more uh, aerodynamic, like that of a swordfish. Fish are aerodynamic? <laughs> So, we need to find something that makes us more Aloha. aerodynamic. Your life be big and, your be small. and we'll actually come across what we need to do that later on. It won't be right now. So let's talk to the grouchy judge as well. Pardon me. What? What was wrong with my last dive? What was wrong with my last dive? It sucked. Could you be more specific? Nope. 
Okay, why are you giving me such low scores? Why are you giving me such low scores? Look, kid, it's nothing personal. It's just that I've got an expensive red-headed wife, two expensive red-headed kids, and an expensive red-headed dog to feed, you follow? Not really. Then let me spell it out for you. Mr. Mandrill pays me a lot of money to make sure that Mr. DePoyo always wins. So there you go. Whatever Mandrill's paying you to fix this contest, I'll double it. Whatever Mandrill's paying you to fix this contest, I'll double it. I appreciate the sentiment, Junior, but it's obvious that you don't have two shillings to rub together, much less the kind of dough it takes to keep my red-headed wife living in the manner to which she's accustomed. Okay, then I'll leave you to your grouchiness. I think I'll leave you to your grouchiness. Whatever. So. That guy is going to give Marco a 10, no matter what happens. So the only way we're going to be able to beat Marco is to find something to make ourselves more aerodynamic and to copy his moves. So we're going to have to do something to sabotage him, and that will involve this baby seal oil here. But before we can do that, we need to figure out how we are going to get something more aerodynamic. So uh, I can't remember if you can get to the beach down here. Dan's new building sure is festive looking. Yeah, we can go. Oh, brilliant, it's crashed. Well, that's um that's great, isn't it guys? So <laughs> I'll have to leave it there then <laughs> for this episode, which is really annoying. Um So we'll um we'll pick it up here last time. Uh, in the next episode and we'll, we'll carry on from this point I mean it's pretty much time anyway but that, that's really irritating that that's happened um, but never mind we know what we've got to do we didn't really pick up anything crucial apart from the certificate to dive so I can get that back quickly and we will um, go down and investigate the beach and nothing at all in the next one um, but that is going to do it for this episode so as always thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click on that like button it really does help the channel to grow so I do appreciate it Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or haven't already done so. Thank you once again to Andy Dead for mentioning the Easter egg. Um, that was really good fun playing that. So um, it's something nice to do to break up the pace a little bit as well. So I will see you all next time.